Fierce fighting across Sudan entered a second day where at least 70 people were killed after fierce fighting erupted between the military and the rapid support forces. Clashes around the army headquarters and presidential palace in capital Khartoum involve heavy weapons. There have also been reports of battles hundreds of miles away in the eastern city of Port Sudan and in the western Darfur region. According to the Central Committee of Sudan Doctors, at least 70 people have been killed and nearly 600 injured in the clashes. The battles follow rising tensions over the proposed integration of the RSF into the military. The disagreement has delayed the signing of an internationally backed agreement with political parties on a transition to democracy. Meanwhile, the African Union said it is following developments in the Republic of Sudan were closely and with deep concern. In a news statement, the president of the Commission of the African Union, Musa Faki Mohamed, called for an urgent ceasefire while regretting how things have gone dangerously out of control and resort to armed violence has prevailed as a way of resolving political dispute. Mohamed further appealed to all parties, armed forces and the rapid support forces in particular to immediately cease the destruction of the country, the panic of the population and the bloodbath of innocent people. Likewise, the United Nations condemned the killing of three World Food Program employees amid fighting in Sudan, stating the three died while carrying out their duties. In this sense, Walker Perfis, the head of the United Nations Integrated Transition Assistance Missions, said on Sunday that the three employees were killed in clashes in Cap Cabilla in North Darfur a day earlier. Additionally, WFP said on Sunday had temporarily halted all operations in Sudan as long as the armed clashes continued.